Piano Wars. Hello everyone. Today, we are going to learn about Man of Wars. You can read along with us by downloading the lesson plan from our website, learnbright.org. What is a Man of War? Man of Wars, officially known as Portuguese Man of Wars, are fascinating marine creatures with unique physical characteristics. Named after a Portuguese warship, they consist of a gas-filled float that sits above the water like a small sail. This float helps them stay, well, afloat and move around the ocean's surface. Below the float, they have long trailing tentacles that look like ribbons. The tentacles are what gives the man of war its stinging ability. Despite its appearance, a man of war is not a single organism. It's actually a colony of specialized individuals working together to survive. These fascinating marine creatures are often found floating on the ocean's surface. They drift along with ocean currents and live in warm ocean waters, especially in tropical and subtropical regions. Man o' wars are not generally social animals. They do not form groups the way other animals do, think schools of fish or pods of dolphins. However, they can sometimes be seen floating in a cluster due to ocean currents and wind patterns. Still, each man o' war in a cluster remains a separate colony. A man o' war reproduces by releasing eggs and sperm into the water. After fertilization, new larvae develop and eventually settle onto a suitable surface. This is where they will grow into the specialized individuals that the colony needs. These individuals, called zooids, are responsible for specific tasks, such as stinging, feeding, and reproducing. But man of wars do not care for their young the way many other animals do. Instead, they rely on their unique colony structure and specialized zooids to instinctively survive and thrive in the ocean's ever-changing environment. What do they eat? Man of wars eat small fish, plankton, and other tiny sea creatures and they have a distinctive way of catching their food. They don't use regular mouths and teeth to eat the way humans do. Instead, they have long trailing tentacles that float in the water. These tentacles are filled with tiny harpoon-like structures called nematocysts. The nematocysts help trap the prey in the man o' war's tentacles. How? Good question. Catching and eating meals is the responsibility of several zooids in the colony. Some zooids are responsible for capturing food, while others help with digestion and floating. When a man of war comes across its prey, it uses its nematocyst to capture it. Each nematocyst shoots out a tiny venomous harpoon, which stings and paralyzes the target. This makes it easier for the man of war to bring food to its mouth. Underneath the float, there are multiple mouths called gastrozooids. The mouths have bag-like stomachs that digest food by releasing enzymes. Enzymes help break down proteins, carbohydrates, and fats into smaller parts for the float to use. Other interesting facts. The man of war's unique float looks like a little sail. The float helps them stay above the water and drift along with the currents. You could think of man o' wars like tiny sailors, using their floats to sail on the water. Beneath the float are long, colorful tentacles that hang in the water and extend as long as 100 feet. The tentacles come in lots of shades of blue, pink, or purple, making the man o' war one of the most colorful creatures in the ocean. In addition to trapping prey, the tentacles protect man o' wars from predators. While man o' wars are indeed beautiful with their striking colors and sail-like floats, they are also dangerous. Their tiny venomous harpoon-like nematosis don't just hurt tiny fish. If a swimmer accidentally brushes against them, it can result in a painful sting. Even though man o' wars look stunning, it's important to admire them from a safe distance. Like the thorns on a rose, the tentacles on a man of war are sharp and painful when touched. And even if the colony is dead, the tentacles can still sting. Why are man of wars important to the environment? 
Man o' wars may seem scary with their stinging tentacles, but those tentacles serve an important purpose in the marine world. Man o' wars are predators. They help control their ecosystems by feasting on various tiny sea creatures. This helps maintain the balance among the members of the ocean's food web. Too much of anything could be problematic and upset that balance. The good news is that man o' wars are not considered endangered. You can find them in many parts of the world's oceans, especially in tropical waters. However, just like with all sea creatures, it is wise to keep an eye on their populations and the health of their habitats. Pollution, ocean temperature changes, and other factors can affect marine life of all kinds. Scientists study man o' wars and other sea creatures to ensure they stay safe and healthy. We have learned some interesting facts about man o' wars. Ready to review? Why are man o' wars considered dangerous to swimmers? Man o' wars are dangerous to swimmers because if they accidentally brush against them, it can result in a painful sting. Choose the word the author would say least describes the man o' war. A. Teamwork. B. Colorful. C. Cluster. D. Predator. E. Individualistic. If you said E. Individualistic, you're right. True or false, man o' wars are named after a Portuguese warship. That's right, it's true. Magnificent work, man o' war masters. If you liked learning with us today, you can find other great lesson plans on our website, learnbright.org. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.